Yeah. In this video, I'm gonna give you five signs that the universe is giving you a wake up call. Sit tight. Sometimes life throws us for a loop and something unexpected happens. We have some sort of wake up call that's telling us that we need to switch something up in our life, like a shock to the system that was completely unexpected for us. And sometimes this is the universe giving us the choice, saying you either do what you have been doing, even though it may not be the right path for you, even though um, it's totally misaligned to you, even though it's causing you a lot of stress, um, and keep doing that. Or you can change something up, okay, where, you know, this way is not going to lead to great results for you, okay? It's not going to work in your favor down the line if you keep doing things the way you've been doing things. So in, um, in ancient Taoism, for example, there's something called critical transition times. And um, according to the, the philosophy, these usually happen around decade birthdays, milestone birthdays, give or take a year. So 30, 40, 50, 60, these really, you know, intense milestones where people experience something called a critical transition, basically a wake up call in their life where they're given the opportunity to switch something up, given the opportunity to make a choice to do things differently that are more aligned to their system, that are healthier. Otherwise, the end result is not gonna be necessarily um, in their best interest. So in this video, I'm gonna give you five signs that you may be going through a critical transition in your life right now. Number one, unexpected physical illness or some sort of physical manifestation of symptoms, just something that um, has been bothering you lately can be a sign that you're going through this critical transition or the, the universe is giving you this sort of choice where you can recalibrate your life. You're basically giving you the opportunity to recalibrate things um, because what you're doing is affecting you on a physical level. So you may notice that um, you know, around a, a milestone, around one of these, these periods of time, like you get something very unexpected, uh, some sort of illness, disease, maybe you get a really bad flu or like pneumonia or something, or you keep getting like tendon injuries, stuff like that. So um, anything that's out of the norm for you is basically giving you a clue and it's a red flag. Sign number two, feeling an emotional break of sorts where uh, you may be feeling really anxious or moving from anxiety to depression a lot. You have almost like an emotional breakdown or you feel like you're going, you're on the edge of having an emotional breakdown and you don't know why. It's just kind of creeping up on you now. So this is a big clue, um, a big sign that uh, you're going through this transition period where you have to, you have options because stuff is bubbling up to the surface emotionally for you. And this could be stuff that was maybe repressed that you just kind of stuffed back down um, within yourself. And, um, and it's really when it starts coming out and you start feeling really uncomfortable, you start feeling like your emotions are all over the place, that you're going to have like a nervous breakdown or something. This is a sign that you may be going through a critical transition in your life. Number three, you're at a sort of crossroad in your life right now where you need to make some sort of important decision. Um, this could be related to career. This could be a relationship. This could even be location where you live. Some sort of big decision has um, been on your mind lately where you have this choice, like a fork in the road, like which way you can go and maybe you're not sure. Um, but usually around these transitional periods, we have um, these different doorways or different options that, that we can go down. And, um, and it's also, uh, I like to mention, is the wood dragon year this year. So it's, it signifies a time of great change, okay, for a lot of people, and especially people having these milestone, um, you know, birthdays or, or something like that where they're trying to overcome something maybe. Um, but you may be at like the fork in the road right now where you're not sure which direction. You have a big, really important decision to make in your life, uh, or you know that you've been procrastinating maybe on something and you know you have to, 
um, you know, make a move soon because it's really like coming up to the surface, right? Like I said, the emotions are bubbling up for you. Number four, and to add on to the last sign, you feel stuck. You feel um, a lot of times kind of alternating between this like cluttered feeling, um, but also can be empty at times. So this feeling of stuckness, it feels like um, during these times that you're forcing things. Like your mind wants to keep going, doing what it's been doing. Your brain is on board, but your, your body's not, your spirit's not, right? Maybe your emotions aren't stable right now. You don't feel grounded, so you're having a lot of anxiety, uh, for example. Um, yeah, you may, you may feel like things feel more forced now, where you were able to do things easier, but now this is your body kind of recalibrating. Um, you know, taking a look, taking inventory of your life right now. You know, your, your spirit is very intelligent. The universe is very intelligent, right? We're a microcosm of it. So um, when things don't feel right for us anymore, we start to have symptoms of this. It starts to feel misaligned where we're noticing it more. We're observing. This is actually a good thing. This is not a bad, even though it feels uncomfortable, it's actually a good thing because we're more aware, we're more observant to what we're actually feeling where people just kind of like push through, but now you feel like you can't push through. It feels very hard, like, like just stuck and you don't know, you just can't like move sometimes. And number five sign, uh, huge gut feelings, red flags. Your intuition is like screaming at you <laughs> now. It's louder than it was before. Um, maybe you're having anxiety dreams a lot. So a lot is going on underneath the surface when you're going through a critical transition, when you have some sort of wake up in your life where um, your, your brain is like trying to like stuff stuff back down, stuff crap back down, uh, but you're like intuition, red flags, gut feelings are just like popping up, right? A lot of symbolism maybe in, in dreams. Um, and this is your body trying to like readjust, your spirit trying to readjust to life. Like it's saying, I need a new beginning. Like I, the way I've been doing, and this is what a critical transition, it's like I said, it's giving us the opportunity, it's giving us the choice of continuing the way we've been going down, maybe, you know, continuing in a relationship that's not good for us, continuing in a job that's just like sucking us dry, continuing with maybe a toxic habit or um, something like smoking or drinking or things that are not good for our body physically. And as we're getting older, it's like our body can't handle it anymore. So it's like, hello, you know, hello. Like, uh, you know, and that's what I mean by like these red flags, these gut feelings, like you're feeling icky inside more so where, uh, but your brain is like, oh, well, I used to be able to do this. I used to be able to push through. Like um, this person used to be good for me and now uh, things don't feel so good anymore. So um, these are just some signs that you may be going through some stuff right now. And, um, and it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's actually the intelligence of your body and your spirit and your emotions and everything about you um, that says, hey, I need to create more open space in my life and I need to let go of things that are no longer aligned to me. And as I'm getting older, I'm growing wiser and I'm growing more observant and I'm aware of, of the things I'm feeling and what's misaligned to me and what's, you know, for my highest good versus what's just kind of like taking energy out of me, right? So I need to create more space. Maybe that's a new beginning. Maybe that's change. Right? Like I said, year of the dragon, change. A lot is happening, a lot of um, energy is moving, okay? Even though it may feel like you're, you're stuck, it's just a phase of feeling stuck because you're at this like crossroads where it's a battle between your mind and your spirit, your mind and your heart, right? So anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, let me know in the comments below, give it a like, share it with your friends. I really appreciate you watching, supporting this channel. And, uh, you know, while you're on your journey, we're all on a journey and uh, life, uh, life gives us curveballs sometimes. And sometimes while the curveballs feel really 
bad. Like, why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to me? Look deeper into it and, um, and find maybe the symbolism within it or the wisdom within it or say, okay, maybe this is happening because the way I've been doing things is not the way that I should keep doing things. Know what I mean? So anyway, uh, I will see you on the next video. Peace.